The sound of dribbling basketballs may not be what most people are used to hearing out of the Edmonds Center for the Arts, but it's music to the ears of Mike Burdett. The longtime Edmonds resident, Saturday morning, officially opened the doors to something he's been dreaming about for many years, the Edmonds Sports Academy. This has been a, a long time dream of yours, I know. Um, and you have kids in the gym practicing right now. Um, it must just be surreal for you to think that this has actually come to pass. Oh, it's a great, it's a great feeling to be honest with you. I have thought about this for many years, and uh, first of all, to be able to do it here in the Edmonds Center for the Art Gymnasium. If you were to look behind me, this is actually where I went to junior high uh, in eighth and ninth grade. My father played in the uh, gymnasium. Uh, I played in the gymnasium in 8th and ninth grade, so to be able to have a facility here was just absolutely awesome. So tell me how it works. I mean, I know that you have uh, open gyms, you have uh, training for boys and girls. Just talk to me a little bit about what, what's, what people can find here. Okay, one of the things I want to make sure that, that the community understands is called the Edmonds Sports Academy. It's not called the Edmonds Basketball Academy. And I'm going to be incorporating a lot of sports that, that would be attractive to all age groups, uh, uh, in the community. That is my passion, my goal is to get everybody down here being involved in sports. Uh, my, 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 my phrase, if you will, is the power of play. What was it that finally was the catalyst that just basically said, you know, made you say, I'm going to do this now? Well, there was, a, there was a couple of things. I mean, my dad, who went to Edmonds High School, graduated 53, he's 76. Uh, he's an absolute sports fanatic. Um, you know, I, I wanted to get something done while he was still still able to be able to participate and see his granddaughters and grandson play uh, in, in my idea. Um, financially, I was able to uh, take the uh, take the opportunity at this time and uh, and uh, be able to have enough capital to make sure that it worked properly, that it ran out properly. Um, I found some folks who uh, were behind it enthusiastically, 110%. I was able to bring in some great coaches. I'm just at that point now in my life where um, everything's kind of converged. I want my kids uh, to uh, to enjoy sports. I want to give something back to the community. I want to have as many folks come down here and, and, and when they're done, head down to the local restaurants and shops to uh, to shop in Edmonds. And, and so, you know, it's just, I'm not getting any younger, so it's just, it's just about time I did it. <laughs> you played in high school and you also played in college, right? I played at Holy Rosary. I played here at the junior high back then, the Edmonds Junior High. I played for O'Day High School in Seattle. And I was fortunate to, uh, to play for the University of St. Thomas. Uh, which is a Division three school in St. Paul, Minnesota, and a little plug to them because I know they'll be watching this, is that St. Thomas is the only team ever in Division three basket or D Division three colleges, 600 colleges that currently hold three, three titles. They are the NCAA Division three baseball champions, football champions, and they just recently won with my old coach, who just retired after this, the NCAA Division III basketball championship. So I played for them in Minnesota, came back here in 90, and got involved with uh, with the youth coaching program uh, here locally in 1990. There's been a lot of talk in the last year or two about sports tourism and how we can get more uh, economic development in Edmonds through, through that concept. And I would venture to guess that this facility is a way to start moving that direction. Is that part of your motivation as oh, well? Oh, Teresa, there's so much we can do. When we go to Chelan to play in a three-on-three -three tournament, there's 2,000 people you know, mowing around Chelan uh, in an August. Um, and you know, everyone knows about the Spokane three-on-three -three tournament. So one of the things that I'm definitely rolling out this summer, so anybody watching, get uh, look for my website, but we are going to do an adult pickleball tournament. It's going to be a three-day tournament this summer. The first one only is pickleball. is a huge sport. It's going to be couples. So the, it's going to be husband, wife, or uh, boy, boyfriend, girlfriend. And uh, we are going to rock that thing. That's going to be an absolute blast. I'm, I'm in the works right now of discussing bringing in a three-on-three -three tournament into downtown Edmonds. Uh, and obviously we're going to be rolling out some dodgeball stuff for adults as well to get, you know, get the folks from the outside of downtown core Edmonds, get them down here. I'm a huge believer and proponent of, of that whole concept. And, uh, and I think that with the academy that I can really promote that uh, here in Edmonds, which I think will be a win-win for all of us.